It's kind of an interesting story as to how I became involved in the ESV translation. I hadn't really had a goal of being involved in a translation work, but I love Greek. I had fully focused on first-year Greek and the writing of my grammar, basics of biblical Greek. And when I went to Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary, it was as the head of the Greek language program. So I was heavily involved in teaching first-year Greek, but translation is a little different. Well, one day I got a call from Wayne Grudem. I didn't know Wayne very well at the time, but he asked, told me that they were going to be doing an evangelical-friendly update of the RSV and wanted to know if I'd be involved. And so I said, well, let me think about it. And so I did a little bit of homework. I checked up on Crossway and talked to people about Wayne and, you know, because, again, I didn't know him that well. And came back to him and I said, you know, I think this is something I'd really like to do, but I am so busy with the uh, Gordon Conwell responsibilities that I can't do this on my own. But my dad is a very good translator, and if he can be involved, I would like to be involved. My dad was one of the original NIV folks, actually. And so Wayne did his homework, and they came back and said, yeah, that'd be great. So that's how dad and I both became involved in the ESV. What the process was, was that uh, Dad would sit down with the RSV and the Greek, and we kind of had figured out our guidelines as to what kinds of changes we wanted to see. And then he would go through and he'd make a list of these suggested changes. He'd send them to me, and I had to critique them, which is kind of odd to critique your father. But anyway, we did and went back and forth. And then those suggested changes went to the whole committee. About 80% of those suggested changes were accepted without discussion. And so actually, Dad and I are responsible for the vast majority of the changes between the RSV and the ESV. The other 20% went to the committee and would argue about them and vote on them and that whole process. So it was a really good experience. The ESV is a good Bible translation. If you, if you want a formal equivalent, I think it's the best one there is out there. Uh, it was a great process to be involved in and develop some very good friends. Paul House, uh, one of the Old Testament guys, is one of my best friends now. So I'm really thankful for uh, what, uh, what all happened. The other kind of side thing that was interesting is that every time we were going to have a translation meeting, like for a week or two weeks, I would go with at least one theological question. I mean, you got J.I. Packer, you got Vern Poitras, and you got Wayne Grudem locked up in a room. And what an opportunity to really refine theology. And so they knew after a while I was always going to come with a question. I remember one year it was, or one week it was uh, limited atonement. And they knew that every lunch and often during every break, I was going to be pestering them with theological questions. And it was a great learning time for me. I really, really appreciated uh, their patience with me as I picked their minds to figure out uh, what I believe in some of these issues. But anyway... That's how I came to be involved in the ESV.